Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with more. Doc, it's great to have you back in the studio with us. As always, yeah. You know? So we're talking about the subvariant of Omicron, BA.2. Could this be the dominant strain in the future? Yeah, and what we saw, right, Glenda, we saw how quickly Omicron took over the Delta variant when initial case were sequenced, Americans were infected with either the original Omicron variant or a sublineage we called BA1. Then in early December, we learned of another Omicron sublineage BA2. That's what we needed to hear, another variant. It was dubbed the quote-unquote stealth variant, very scary as always, because it was harder to identify in lab-based PCR test and could be mistaken as the Delta variant. Now, while BA2 did not take off like BA1, it has been gaining, gaining ground. It currently makes up almost a quarter of all new cases, 23.1% to be precise, and it's very prevalent in the Northeast. Now, here in New York and New Jersey, roughly 39% of new cases are BA2, and in New England, it's 38.6%. Back to your question, though, Glenda, could it become the dominant strain in the U.S.? Anything is possible. We've seen it happen in other countries like the U.K. Unfortunately, cases there are up roughly 52 percent over the last week. Not good news. Now, having said that, when you look at U.S. data, the doubling of numbers for BA2 appears to be slowing down. And that's good. And while BA2 is taking up a more significant portion of cases, the CDC has been tracking fewer infections overall, which is great news. So at the moment, it just appears that BA2 infections are just spreading faster. So this is high on officials' radar. So does that mean that this subvariant is more severe? And here's the thing, uh, Glenn, that it, it looks like it does not appear to be more severe than BA1. It's about the uh, same risk. That's based on preliminary research from South Africa and the UK. And when looking at U.S. data, hospitalizations and deaths have continued to drop or plateau, even though BA2 is more prevalent. Again, that's, that's good news. And there's more good news. Other research has found that BA2 is unlikely to cause reinfections in people who are infected with BA1 and BA2 does not, I mean, does not appear to evade vaccine protection as easily as BA1. However, when it comes to transmissibility, right, how quickly it goes into your body, BA2 is roughly 30% more con contagious than Omicron. So while our numbers are still looking good here in the U.S., we need to be mindful that the virus is not going away and it has the ability to spread quickly. Once again, I remind everyone, please, the best way to be safe is to be fully vaccinated and boosted. Please do so. I have, and I think that all of you can do that and really rest, rest easy. That's how we get out of this. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for the update. Good to see you again. Great to see you. All right. Okay. Brian. Well, if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com, or make sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.